Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are asking the question, what is the message from our deceased loved one? So that is, is there anything that our deceased loved ones have to say to us? And if so, what is their message? And we're working with tarot cards today. You will have deck one, deck two, deck three, deck four and deck five. Please make your choice and you can go down to the description box below where you'll find the timestamp to your reading. Thank you. So for those of you who have chosen the first deck, the question we're asking today is, what is the message from our deceased loved one? What is the message from our deceased loved one? So you may go ahead and think of somebody who's passed on and ask if they have a message for you. And if you feel that this resonates, then go ahead and listen to it. If you have any doubt, then I suggest that you skip it. So what is it that your deceased loved one wants to say to you. So what I'm hearing here is that um, what they're saying to me and what I'm hearing is that if you actually leave a situation that no longer serves you, this is advice that they're giving to you. So they're talking about your situation here. They're not talking about where they're at and how they feel, um, but they're talking more about where, where you at and where what they see is the best for you. And this is more like an advice that they're giving you. And what they're saying here is that if you lose, if you leave a situation that is untenable for you, that you will find great abundance in that. Because what you actually need to be doing is not uh, being in the situation anymore, as it's not serving you. Um, the people who surround you at the moment uh, do not have your best interests at heart, and they are giving this to you as a warning. They're saying that you know this already. And you know that there are certain things that you need to change in your life. Sometimes it's uh, it's got to do with some of you. It, it has to do with an external environment, like a work situation with other people. Uh, or with a few of you, it also has to do with love. And with some of you, it has to do with the situation in which you, where you've been treating yourself in a particular way. And they are saying to you, well, stop that and move on from this. It's no longer tenable. It's no longer working for you. It's no longer serving you. And when you've actually done that, you're going to find great joy and great happiness and great fulfillment in an area of your life which you didn't believe that you would find such joy and such unhappiness. So they're asking you not just to leave a particular situation, leave a scenario which you are a part of because it no longer serves you but also to delve into something that you have not believed will work for you because they, they are saying it's going to work for you. So if you have a business idea, if you want to set off as an entrepreneur, if you have a hobby that you're drawn to, but you don't think it's going to make you uh, much money or you don't think you could live off of it, they're saying, well, this is something where you can go ahead and you can do that. You know, And what I'm hearing is that for some of you, there is a situation here where you haven't allowed something to blossom uh like you've you've started something up but before it could actually reach its fruition you've stopped it and so you've in effect sabotaged yourself and they are saying well you don't need to do this anymore you can actually allow yourself to be free and go ahead and um just let it come to a full fruition and you're going to be very happy and very proud of yourself and you're going to have the riches that come with it whether that be just fulfillment or whether that is the material riches they are saying when you've come past that, when you've done this, that you're actually going to uh, be on your on your own again and you'll be successful on your own. So in some of these situations, um, they are saying, well, you need to leave this relationship and you need to make it on your own for a while and you're going to be successful at this. Don't worry. It's going to be fine. Uh, for some of you, I feel like you're moving out of a place where you'll be living with somebody. Uh and you can you need to like take that chance and it's going to be successful and you'll be alone but you'll be at the beginning of a great venture a great ambition in your life and you'll be able to make things happen which you didn't believe was was able you were able to have was able to happen before for those of you who are single and in no relationship and this uh, doesn't resonate with you i'm hearing here that 
you've got to leave that situation where there are people around you. It might be neighbors, it might be people that you work with, because the speak that they have, the things that they say to you is not validating you. And therefore you can't flourish in that situation. And you need to go out on your own for a while, be on your own. And then you're going to find that you're going to be able to have a new fire that you've given birth to. You're going to be able to understand that the coals are still burning underneath you and you can create much more of this that you're going to be able to tap into a creative power that you didn't know you or you had forgotten that you had and they're saying that that is where they want to see you they want to see you with your head held up high you are proud of yourself you knowing that you've had you've achieved this you've walked away from this it's taken courage um but you, you've had enough of this and you need to walk away from it and they're watching you in all of this, you know, they're watching you here, right? And they are seeing what's happening to you and how this is hurting you. And they can see, though, your potential and how much of joy and happiness and abundance you can have in your life. And they are saying that when you're free, it might feel like you're alone or you might feel isolated, but you can hold your head up high because you need to give yourself the chance to succeed at whatever it is that you can do and don't depend on others or... Just go out on your own and make this happen for you because you can, everything that you do, they're, they're, you're being supported and seen through this and that you will have all that you need. It, it will be easy for you. It will be almost effortless for you to make it happen, even though you don't think that. Yeah, even they're aware of the fact that you are not thinking about it in this way. And they're saying, well, release that. Don't worry about that. Just give it a chance and it's going to work out much. E it's going to be much easier. And then... Yes, you may be alone or you may be on a path just uh, by yourself where people don't recognize you or don't understand why you've chosen that path. And you may you may you may draw criticism from others as a result, but you will be happy and you will it'll be a beginning of your life. It'll be almost like you being born again. And they're saying that this is what they wish for you. And this is what they want me to share with you today. So it's not a message of, you know, something where they're saying, well, I, I'm, I miss you and love you or something like this. They, what they're saying is they see your potential and they see that the situation that you're in needs to change. You can do better and you will have a brand new beginning once you've done that. Okay, so that is uh, your reading for those of you who've chosen this particular uh, deck here. And I hope that helps you in some way. For those of you who've chosen this deck here, the question we're asking today is, what is the advice from those of, uh, of our deceased loved ones? What do we need to hear today from our deceased loved ones? Do they have a message for us? Okay, so this one's a little bit more emotional and um, in some of your cases here, this may be somebody who's passed um, not so long ago. Um, for, in this reading, I'm feeling that this is somebody who's saying, well, you need to move on. There isn't going to be a reconciliation, you know, there isn't going to be you coming together. You can't wait any longer. You can't wait to, for, they're not going to come back, is what they're saying. They're with you, but they're not going to come back. And the times that you've had together is what is where you is the memories that you have to cherish. That was special. But what they're saying here is that you need to move on, and you can't move on. You be you blocked at the moment, and you can't move on. And you're just managing. It's like you're just um, coping. You you barely managing to cope. Uh, and that's because you haven't let go of them. And they're asking that you let go of them. They're asking that you let go and let them be so that you can uh, take the key back to your life, so that you can move ahead in your life. There are many things waiting for you to take off. There are many things that you need to turn around and look at that's waiting for you. It's like you need to run this mile. You need to run this marathon. And it's waiting for you. And it's like the gun has been fired off a long time ago for you to start. 
but you turned away and you're looking back at them. You're looking back at the times that you've had with them and you're wondering and you're sad and you are somehow wishing that you could be with them again. But this is a situation where it's not going to happen. Obviously, they've moved, they've moved on. It can't be so. And yes, you're connected in spirit. And yes, you can reach out to them whenever you want to. That's what they're saying. That's so clear to me. You can reach out to them whenever you want to. It's up to you. You need to speak to them. You need to change this, uh, the way in which you're grieving for them, to be not mourning your loss anymore, but rather developing a relationship with them while they're in spirit. Because they're not going to come back to this real life. They're not going to come back to reconcile here. This, the connection that you have in the spirit world is what you have. And this is what you need to develop. Okay. But they're saying that is not the priority. The priority is, here is for you to stop mourning, stop grieving them. Give yourself a chance to live your life. Return to your life. What is the key to your life? What is the key to making you happy again? They'd like to see you happy. They'd like to see you joyous. The way they see you right now is that you're blocked, that you're confused, that you're juggling, that you're not able to actually find a way out of the situation where you're just not coping. And they're saying, well, it's time to move on from this. This is not going to work anymore for you. Yeah. And it's it's not helping your relationship with them in the spirit world either. You need to simply breathe and let go. Recognize the jewels, the treasures of the times that you spent together and simply allow it to pass. Let it be. Let it be in the past. Recognize that it was there. It was special. That they'll never that you will never lose that. Those moments that you spent with them is something that can never be taken away from you. That they've graduated into a new life. And here, this is something where they're asking you to do the same. They've moved on and they're asking you to move on too. And to join them by communicating with them in the, in the spirit world. Not to join them in the spirit world, but join them in, in, in connecting with them in the spirit world. Also, develop yourself to be able to communicate with them. It's like upgrading your software. They are saying they've moved on. It's no longer compatible. Yes, you can't have those times that you had together. Yes, you can't take those walks that you had together. Yes, you can't do those things that you did together. But they are still there. And you can communicate with them in a spirit world. And, But before that, once again, I just want to say this again because it's important for them, for you to... They are saying that you, you're blocking yourself from going ahead. You're blocking yourself from the joys that you can have in your life, from moving ahead in your life, from moving to your next destination, from actually just enjoying life. You're being dragged on by life. Life is dragging you on and you can't, you don't have control of your life anymore. So they're saying, stop focusing on me and actually really just take your life back. When you do that and you have control of your life here again, when you have this control, then, you know, you can work on actually communicating with them in the spirit world. They aren't going anywhere. They're just on another space. OK, and you can reach out to them whenever you need to. So I know this is hard and this is not so easy, especially in this reading year. It's been quite sad and I can feel that emotion coming through. And... Um, yeah, they did not leave you. They needed to move on. Okay, that's the message also. So um, that's it for those of you who've chosen that deck there. For those of you who've chosen the third deck here, the question we're asking today is, what is the message for you from your deceased loved one? Oh. What is the message for you from your deceased loved one?
Okay, here's a situation where I'm feeling that um, what they're saying is that all is not lost. Uh, all is not lost. Uh, they say to me here that this happened suddenly. This happened in a way that was uh, what, where you're not expecting it. And um, you couldn't have foreseen this. And they, it might have been a situation where there could have been love here. Or there could have been the idea of love. And what they're saying is that it's it's okay to take the time to to grieve and to overcome the shock and the hurt and the disappointment and to redevelop your faith because this has shaken your faith and they want you to dream they want you to take time to think about new possibilities new ways forward a way forward that isn't you where you're not concentrated on love that is lost but they want you to really take time to think about what it is that you want in your life, what, where it is that you can explore your life or expand your life. Sorry, that's the word they're giving me. Where it is that you can expand your life by exploring different areas which you have not yet given much thought to. And they're saying that the shock that you've had at the beginning of the, at, with this grief, that's come with this grief, is not something that you need to hold on for. You need to actually begin dreaming again. When you start dreaming again, one thinking about what it is that you want in your life and where it is that you're going in your life and you start to even if you're just remembering and you're remembering the good times it'll help you to focus a little bit more on that which is more positive because I feel here that the situation has left you shocked and uh, disheveled you're in a disarray and you need to pull yourself together and the way they're saying that you can do this is by dreaming, by thinking about what you desire, by remembering good things. It's about shifting from what is negative to what is positive. And that is the message that they have for you. They're saying also that um, the love that you've had, uh, yes, it didn't reach. Yes, it could have gone further. Yes, you could have had more. Yes, you could have done more. Yes, you could have experienced so much more together. And yes, you didn't have the culmination of this love in this lifetime. And this goes for people who are talking about people who have passed on or you're thinking about people who have passed on who are your lovers, as well as people who have, um, you know, a family member that's passed on or a friend. They're saying that this love, you could have, yes, it could have, it was not ripe when they left. It was not ripe when they departed. And yes, they could have been so much more, but they're asking you not to focus on that. Okay? They say recognize it and accept it. But think about all more all the else that you have here. Think about all else that you have. But if you need more time, then take that time. Because this has just been a huge shock to you. This has been a huge shock shock to your system. This there's still post-traumatic stress that you are recovering from here you are needing to go through this grieving process in more depth and more detail you are still in it and even if this has happened 10 years ago or 20 years ago you are still there are still parts of you that needs to work through this grief and they're asking you to take the time to do that don't rush through it or don't think don't deny it don't run away from it it's not something that you need to run away from. It's something that you need to confront by remembering. By remembering the joyous occasions that you had. And then exploring areas of your life where you could expand. Because therein lies the gift. And yes, recognize and acknowledge the fact that this love that you've had with each other, this beautiful relationship that you've had with each other is not something that came to its fruition but don't mourn that accept it for what it is don't mourn that there's more in your life they're asking you to look back at your life because there's more in your life that's there and don't think of that which could have been but think of that which was and that which will be in your life
I'm getting a message here for uh, someone uh, who's blonde, blonde haired. Her name is Laurel, uh, or some something similar to this. And I'm hearing that um, it's it's your dad that you're asking about. And I'm hearing that yes, it happened suddenly. Yes, you were not expecting it. Uh, but it wasn't your fault. And don't think that it was. And don't think about the times that you actually didn't do more. Don't think that you weren't good enough. Don't think that you could have done more. It's not true. You may see it like that, but he doesn't, okay? He sees it as, as you having... Um, you having had this culmination of this love, he sees that you being in his life was the biggest joy and that you don't need to think about when you weren't, in your eyes, a good daughter because he doesn't see you like that. He sees you as having been an excellent daughter and he's happy for you and your life. And he's wishing you well. So that's the other message that's coming across for the rest of you as well here. They're wishing you well in your path. They are saying to you that there's so much ahead of you. There's so much more that you can do. Just dream it and you can follow on and follow through with it. That it is possible to have all that you dream of. And don't mourn the love that you've had. You don't need to mourn the love that you've had. You can celebrate the love that you had. Yes, it's a bit early to say that. Or yes, you, you're not in that space where you can see that right now. But work towards that, strive towards that, because that is actually where you need to be. You need to be celebrating this love that you had. I'm hearing here that it won't hurt to light a candle whenever you um thinking about a deceased loved one, a white candle, and dedicate it to the one that you're thinking of. Okay, so that was your message for those of you who've chosen um, this, mess this card here, and... Um, for Laurel or Lorelei or something as a girl with yeah with that name. For those of you who've chosen this deck here, the question we're asking here is what is your message from your deceased loved one? What is the message for you today from your deceased loved one? Okay, so this is a message that's similar to the first um, deck. So, um, very clearly what they're saying here, well, there's two ways here. There's, two, there's different energies coming through here. So one of the first ones that I'm hearing is that don't cry over spilled milk. Get on with it as soon as possible, All right? That is a very clear message that I'm hearing. Stop dreaming, stop crying, stop actually... Um, Stop doing this, they're saying. Oh, gosh, so I'm sorry. Some of the energies are getting quite uh, um, forceful. So what they're saying is that go ahead with your life. Go ahead and do the things that you want to do. And start in you. Start in you because that's the message for you here. Go ahead. Stop crying over sp spilled milk. It's not going to help anything. Focus on your work. Focus on your finances. Focus on moving ahead. And move right ahead. Be very practical in your, in your, in the way you move ahead. Don't be hasty. Make good decisions about real estate. I'm hearing. Make good decisions. Make proper decisions. Sorry. Make um, pragmatic decisions regarding the, uh, the the things that you need to be doing in your life. And move ahead. Don't look back. Don't spend a moment thinking about this. This is different and this message is different somehow in the, from the other ones even though it has a similar vibration but um they're saying you don't need to actually spend another moment looking back you can just move ahead yeah even though you may be drawn to look back like this horse is drawn to look back steer yourself ahead and move ahead with this that's the only way you can't spend another moment grieving you just can't spend another moment wishing for what could have been 
go ahead and create a new. Because there's much fortune to be created. There's much goodness to be created. There's a lot waiting for you. And it's only, wait, it's only up to you to make the decision to go ahead. Only you can do this. So go right ahead and make it happen. You can actually do it. The message, the other message I'm hearing here is this is somebody who's actually passed on from uh, having um, had too much of alcohol. And um, they may have had something like a liver psoriasis or they may have had something like a um, cirrhosis, I meant, not psoriasis. Um, so they may have... Um, their cause of death may have relate, been related to alcohol. They may have been in an accident as a result of uh, them being drunk behind the wheel or because somebody else was drunk behind the wheel. And, or, or yeah, you know, some, something like this. But the cause of death has been, there's a relation to alcohol here. And uh, they are grieving as well. But they are looking back at the moments and they're thinking about the moments that they spent with you and how lively you were and what a joy you were and how you came into their lives and you you lit up their lives and how they looked forward to seeing you and how much they loved you and how much they yearned to be with you and how much they wanted to spend time with you. And they're speaking specifically about this amazing warmth and sunshine these bright rays of light that shone into their lives um, with such gusto. You came into their lives with such gusto, with such liveliness. And this is something that they cannot deny. And this is something that is a gift to them. And they look back on it and they want you to know that they appreciated this about you. Yeah. So that's what I'm hearing for those of you who've chosen this one. I, let me know if that resonates with you because um, there were two completely different messages there. For those of you who've chosen this last deck here, the question we're asking today is, what is our message from our deceased loved one? What is our message from our deceased loved one? So here yeah, I'm hearing that um, you could have grown all together. You could have done so much more together. Yes, they know that. Yes, you could have done so much more. And yes, you could have had so much more. Yes, you were in the midst of enjoying what you had. And there was so much that you made together and that you created together that you could have shared for longer. It's difficult from this point of view to move on. It's difficult for me to see where the road is, to see how, what, how to go ahead. But if you find your way, love awaits you. New love awaits you if you find your way. Fresh love. Love that is rich and full and will replace this emptiness that you experience at this moment. So when you find your way, and if you find your way out of this, be open to new love. So that's one message that I've gotten for those of you who've chosen this deck. The other message I've gotten is that as a result of this grief, as a result of this encounter, as a result of this loss, you've stopped living your life fully in the way that you could. You've stopped appreciating the benefits that you could. Uh, all, you stop being grateful for everything that you have. 
and it would be worthy for you to find yourself back on your feet and to be able to appreciate and be grateful for the for those things once again and in that you will find the love that returns to your life you will find the joy that returns to your life the energy one of the energies that i'm picking up here with regard to this card is this is somebody who's quite detached this is somebody who's holding you at arm's length but that still cares about you they care of your well-being they care about your well-being enough to be able to shop in this reading for you but they are still quite hard on you you know and they may have had quite a cold demeanor with regard to you there is love there but the way in which they express their love can be quite ha harsh or quite hard i would like to say um there's another energy that's coming through here which i'd like to speak about as well This is for those of you, you where you have not lived together, or you've not uh, built anything together, and uh, it's not a parent, um, it's not a lover or a husband or a wife, uh, but it's it's somebody else. And what they're saying here is, um, you you need to just focus on where you're headed to. You need to re-establish your goals and your ambitions and work really hard at what it is that you are good at doing and find your joy through that again. So it's kind of similar to the second message, but this is from another person. It's not from the cold, detached person that was coming up just now. But the message is very similar. It's They're saying, look at all the things that you're good at and look at all the things that you are amazing at and basically focus on that okay so i'd like to thank you for coming by today and blessings abound from kismet rising and hope